guys, it's Mark McMahon. I'm in Anaheim today. We've got a, as you can see, a pretty much empty lot here. It's uh, about a half an acre and it's R2, which is pretty rare. And I think we've gotten here before anybody else. They haven't put any access to the property yet. So I found out about it through an agent friend of mine. They're gonna put something on it later on today. So it may be gone by the end of the day. Half acre in Anaheim is tough to come by and it's about 800 grand. So that's a pretty, pretty good deal. So you can see a house that's on here now is built in 1920, 1922. But the other interesting thing though, is they built this garage in the last year and it's got a permitted bathroom in it. So there's a lot of things you could do with that. You can't use it as living space, but it could be a family room or whatever. But I think the highest and best use of this lot right now is definitely to open up the street over here, cut an apron into the concrete, build houses on either side. If the city of Anaheim will allow it, maybe get six units on here. Cost to build them, you know, depending on who we use is a couple hundred bucks a square foot. So we got 800,000 for the property. We built six units. We've got uh, $200 a square foot, say it's a thousand, so 200,000, so six times two, 1.2 million. So we're in this project for about 2 million and probably sell for about three and a half to 4 million. So with cost of money and everything, you could be sitting, sitting with a million dollars by the time you're done. Although a project like this is so advanced, I don't want anyone to even try this. Please don't try it. But if you could wrangle something like this a few years down the road, this is where the big money is. And I'm not saying that I want you to do it. So please don't, don't think that. I didn't know what I was gonna see when I got here. But I'm pleasantly surprised with something that, that may or may not be a deal for us. It, it's, an, it's an amazing thing. You don't normally find this kind of property. Um, strangely enough, there's a huge putting green in the front and I have no idea what this is for. It makes no sense to me. Love to keep it, but it's gotta go. It's gotta go. Another thing we can do with this property. So if you wanted to do a quick and dirty, you could probably get apartments um, um, okayed for this. So you could probably get like a six unit apartment complex. The cost of the property is pretty inexpensive. Uh, as long as there's a sewer line here, you're looking good. But again, this is a little bit more complicated project than we normally would do. So I think, uh, I think this one's a, a good one to look at out of curiosity, but definitely not for most of you out there. Love to get you inside, but this particular house looks like it's about to fall down and I don't think they're going to let anybody inside. One minute, 37 seconds later. We came in, we're not supposed to be in here, but we actually came over the fence. So let's, uh, let's try to shoot this as quick as possible because I really don't want this agent showing up. He'll be mucho, mucho upset. So let's go take a look. So this was just built. This is a thousand square foot garage. This is my dream garage. <laughs> Look at stucco weaves, it's, it's amazing quality. But again, I'm not sure how this would fit into the grand scheme of things here because you know, if you're gonna build houses here and someone gets a thousand square foot garage, it doesn't make any sense. So sometimes you can push these up, but not today. All right, that's cool. That's cool. So it's, a, it's, it's, I saw a picture of it. It's a big empty space with a bathroom in the corner. So maybe some guy that's into motorcycles, trucks, bicycles, it would be a really, really good place to, to, to do your thing. But uh, for me, I'd mow it down. Sorry. And the house. Let's see if we can get in it. It's kind of sketchy, but let's see. I don't know if you guys can get in here, but yeah, this is cool. So if you look at this, you know, someone was living here. This, this place, I bet this was a family house from, this was a farm years ago, a strawberry farm or a, a, a orange farm or something like that. Back in the twenties, you, know, you can see all the old electrical and everything. This place is cool, but it's going to go. This, this place is going to get torn down. Huh, it's got an upstairs. I didn't even know that. Oh, check this stove out. This is cool. So I guarantee that's how they heated the house. Yeah, I used to sell those when I grew up in Big Bear. I used to install those years ago. But just imagine you could restore this house. This would be so cool. I love these old places, but you can feel the floor. 
It's like the termites are holding hands and that's what's holding this house together right now. I've restored houses like this before up in LA. They're super, super cool. They have so much charm. So we try to call somebody? I'm gonna call my wife. It's ringing. I swear to God, it's ringing. Hello? Hi. Hi. <laughs> We're in this house that's like 100 years old. No one's lived here forever. And the phone's working. No caller ID, exactly, but you answered, I know. The phone works. This is so cool. Can we talk about that in a little while? Oh, no, 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 no. That's uncomfortable to talk about on uh, camera, I think, right now. Probably not a good time. Phone works, but nothing else does. No sewer, no sewer, no nothing. Yeah, this house is cool. Anyway, I'll show you later. That was cool. I, I don't get any houses where the phones work and everything else is on, but when this works and nothing else is on, that's a bonus. We are now not going to tear this house down. We're keeping it. This place is absolutely not repairable, though. Only because it isn't worth it. It's not worth the, not worth the time or the effort to do it. But because it's fun, let's go upstairs. Ouch! So this may or may not be legal. Not that it matters. Like I said, it's coming down, but you've got a nice view of Brooker's back there. That is Brooker's, so... Conceivably, you could have an entrance over there, but I doubt it's probably going to be over there. Sadly, this will come down. You never know what you're going to find in these places. Ah! Just joking. What'd you get? Queen. Greatest hits. We are so listening to this on the way home. What's this? Bone phone. I don't know what a bone phone is. I don't even know that I want now. What is a bone phone? Oh! You don't remember them, but it's, a, it's like a speaker you used to be able to carry around your neck. Old school, before headphones. I thought that's what you called your side chick with. That's what I was thinking, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's see. It's, uh, it's not for Rover. It says so right there. Neither are side chicks. Bone foam. Ready? Ready? Shit. Ready? Are you ready? See? You, didn't, you couldn't even catch that, could you? One more time. You ready? Okay, do you want to see it again? Like that. See, I did it slow that time. Want me to, want me to do it fast? Want to see it again? <laughs> Pretty fast, huh? Okay. I got right. something for you. I got like two different kinds. Which one do you want? You know, I know this is your cup of tea, right? It is. Let me see that thing. Let's see. Let's see. What brand is it? I'll take it, dude. Appreciate it. Yeah, no worries. First day's pay right here. I know. You know what? That's, that's the bonus. That's the bonus of having these places. The goodies. Uh oh. It's the real estate agent saying, What are you doing on the property? So let's just say we were going to rehab this house. Not ever going to happen. But let's say we were going to do it. Isn't it funny? This was a shower at one time. So this is galvanized pipe. Whenever you've got a rental or you're rehabbing a house, this has got to go. I mean, just think of your arteries. Hopefully yours are nice and clear, but if they're not, they're filled with gunk. Same thing happens with these kind of pipes. They get filled with gunk and they eventually shut off and then they corrode and then they leak. So this would have to be replaced. And then you can see over here where the water heater was, they have copper, which is what you would want here. If in reality we were restoring this house, which of course we're not. I mean, that's new, that's old. And uh, yeah, the rest of it, there's really nothing redeemable here other than the fact it's got some personality. Yeah, that's it. We'll bring a tractor in here, and within about four hours, this house will be gone after being here for 100 years, sadly, but they let it go too long, and yeah, that's too bad. So, you know, the crazy thing about this house is old as it is, and it's about ready to fall down, somebody already bought it a long time ago and owned it and depreciated it. If I buy this house today, even though it's in this kind of shape, you know, it's falling down, the depreciation process starts all over again. So for 27 and a half years, I get to depreciate the structures on this property. Depreciating the structure means, in a nutshell, I take the value of the structure, not the land, Divide it by 27 and a half, and yes, there are, it's, there's a tax table that goes along with this, so this is a rough number, so for all you CPAs out there, don't quote me. You can also take that amount of money off your taxes every year. In other words, you divide that number, and that's the amount that the IRS has said that this property is going to go down in value every year. 
as the property devalues, you get to take that off your taxes, off of your income. Brilliant, right? Every time this house is sold, it starts all over again. So I had a phone call last week where someone called me and said, look, I've got a, I've got a, I think it was a 15 unit apartment complex. I need to buy another one because I'm at the end of my uh, depreciation schedule on this one. And I said, perfect. So you want me to sell this one and find you a new one? And they said, yes. So they start all over again. And the guy that's buying it, his old one gets to start it all over again. God bless America. Is that only if we were to keep the house or does that depreciation include if you were to build something new? The depreciation would, would, would include the new houses. So if you build new houses here, they will depreciate the same way. So whatever the structure value is will depreciate over 27 and a half years. So if you build an apartment complex here, the building itself will depreciate for actually, if it's commercial, I believe it's 34 years. Don't quote me on that. On residential one to four units, it'll depreciate for 27 and a half more years. Crazy, right? It's one of the best things there is out there amongst many other perks that you get from investing in real estate. That's it. This place is super cool. It was kind of fun to look at it. You know, you just imagine the history in a house like this. Just amazing what happened here over the last hundred years. But anyway, unfortunately, this house is gonna have to go and it will become several houses. I'm really glad we got to see this. This is really rare that you see something that's actually buildable. I really appreciate you guys watching this. Um, if you could share it with somebody that could help. Um, all I wanna do is just raise awareness about investing and I want people to start investing and taking care of their future. I don't care if you're 21 or 51. It's not too late to start. But the problem is, is if you don't start, Uncle Sam's gonna be taking care of you and I don't think you wanna trust that.